Hey Cancer, it's Star. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to do things a little different this time. I'm going to be doing your Romance Angel Oracle cards as usual and do your Celtic Cross Love Spread. But instead of doing the general reading this time, I'm going to do your uh, 2018 forecast. So please stay tuned for that. All right, let's start with your Romance Angels and see what you guys have going on in your love lives here from January 1st through the 15th, 2018. Thank you so much for all the comments that you guys have left me. I really love reading your comments. Thank you. Um, I feel really honored that you guys trust me so much to, to tell me all these details of your life. So I really appreciate that. Okay, first card we have, stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So there is a bit of a sense of pessimism with a relationship that you've been dealing with. It's like you're not really feeling like it's going to work out or something, but there is a lot of passion there. It's a very passionate relationship. You need to allow your heart to, and soul to sing with joy um, and remain optimistic that you are on the right path here. Okay. We have express your love. Okay, so don't be afraid to go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Pull a few clarifiers. I'm using the after tarot to clarify your love reading here. Okay, we have two cards. Ten of Pentacles reverse and the Seven of Cups reverse. So you're trying to stay optimistic about a relationship, but I feel like you... It's been revealed to you that this person is either not interested in commitment or you've come to terms with the fact that you are not interested in commitment, but you're still trying to keep optimistic about this particular relationship. Passion. Okay, we have the star card reverse. I feel like there's a lot of passion in this relationship, but there is there's issues that need healing, emotional issues that have not been healed yet. And so this is like hindering the relationship. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune reverse. It's hindering the progress of this relationship, um, making the timing kind of be totally off and things haven't been going the way that you wish that they would go. And you're kind of losing that optimism that the cards are telling you to have. So you're in this state of pessimism with regards to this relationship because you feel like it's taken a turn for the worse. And this person perhaps does not want to be committed. Um, but the advice here is to express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So this is either... Oops. That was too many, so I'll put those back. All right, let's see. Okay. Express your love. So we have the Four of Pentacles reversed, and that's letting go, letting your guard down. And we have the two of wands reverse. So there's somebody that's dragging their feet on a decision or a choice. Um, and maybe dragging their feet on really expressing what it is that they feel. It's like they're protecting themselves. Okay, being very guarded. So I feel like the advice here is to let your guard down a bit. And decide if this is really something that you want. And if it is, then express it. Let people know how you feel. Okay, let's move on to your Celtic cross spread and see... We get a deeper um, message there with regards to that. All right. All right, Cancer, male and females for January 1st through the 15th. We have... The Five of Pentacles reverse. So you're trying to get out of a situation in which you either feel lonely, neglected, ignored, or left out in the cold. You're getting out of this feeling. Or you're wanting to get out of this. Okay, what's crossing you is the Knight of Cups. This is your energy, water energy. So you want to not feel like you're left out in the cold because you have love for this person okay this person maybe ignores you sometimes or doesn't give you the intention that you want uh, for some of you there's like uh, financial issues that you're getting over um, <clears throat> 
but you do, it's like you want to share your love, but you're very, you were very concerned with your finances, so that didn't allow you to kind of uh, express your love to somebody else because you were focused elsewhere. Uh, but mostly I feel, I feel that a lot of you guys have been feeling neglected by someone and you have this cup of love to give to them, but you're just trying to kind of maintain contact with them at this point. So what is the foundation of the situation? The reason that all this is happening? Oh, geez. Two cards. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups. Okay. So the foundation is that I feel many of you are in love. Okay. Maybe you don't want to accept that. But I do feel like you guys are in love <laughs> or somebody here is maybe your partner is in love or you're in love. But the reality is that you're not satisfied with the way this relationship is panning out. OK, you know that there is much more that it could be, but it's not quite there yet. OK, so in the past. We have the two of swords, somebody made a decision. Crowning you is the Empress Reverse. What I'm getting here is that you guys are trying to seem more aloof than you actually are. Okay, you're trying to seem like you're not as loving or as nurturing as we all know that you Cancers are. Um, because you're putting on a front. <clears throat> because I feel like this person makes you feel a little bit neglected every once in a while. And here you are having all this love and emotion for them and you're not able to enjoy it. Okay, so I feel like you guys made a decision, a conscious choice to not allow this to affect you. At least that's what you're thinking. Okay, and so you're trying to seem aloof, like you don't care whether or not this relationship takes off. You don't care if it grows. You don't care to nurture it. You're just not around to give anybody any love even though you have all this love to give okay so i kind of get the sense that you guys are kind of fooling yourselves in a way um in the near future we have the strength card so you may be dealing with a leo or a situation that requires strength and fortitude to get through how you see yourself How you see yourself is the fool. So you're ready for a new beginning. You're actually, there was a card here that was flipped over. You're actually um, willing to take some risks right now. And you're ready for something new. But I do feel this card to me tells me, if you look, this guy is the only one with him is his dog. So this to me is like going off on your own and, and kind of exploring the world on your own. I, I don't. I don't get the sense that this is like someone who is ready to take risks with a partner. You know what I mean? So I feel like you're open to newness on your own. I feel like, again, like you're putting on this front that you don't need anyone. <clears throat> when in reality, you have a lot of emotion here for someone. And that's kind of holding you back. But you're trying to embody this um, sense of adventure to keep you kind of distracted from the emotion that's there. How your partner sees you is the nine of cups reverse. So they see you as being dissatisfied and not really getting what you want. Uh, which you are. Because we have the four of cups here in the foundation. So your partner senses this. They sense that you want more. They want some, that you want something that you're not getting. So it's not like they're completely oblivious to what's going on. <clears throat> I get the sense that you guys aren't really talking a whole lot or at least not expressing yourself as you should. Hopes or fears is the world's card. So you're hoping for the ending of a cycle or the beginning of a new one. You're hoping for a major change in your life. Or you're afraid of it. In your overall outcome, you have the Seven of Swords. So I feel like there is some deception here, lies, or something of the sort. 
And it doesn't necessarily have to mean that somebody's lying to you. It could be that you're deceiving yourself even. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have the King of Pentacles reverse. So some of you are dealing with Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or somebody who's very um, preoccupied with material things, their own agenda, their own thing into themselves and being kind of selfish. Um, this could be a soulmate energy or somebody from your past that you wanted a new beginning with, but it never really took off. And you're trying to bring this all together and have patience uh, that, you know, for this to all pan out the way you want it to. But you're trying not to think of it. You have the Nine of Swords reversed here. You're trying not to stress about it, not think about it. Um, you kind of feel like there's a missed opportunity here. Uh, that you've been waiting to come into fruition, but I feel like now it's like you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to wait around for anyone. And you did feel kind of betrayed or uh, sad or, you know, you, you didn't feel good about something, but I feel like now you just want to get over it and move on. Okay? Um, yeah. I do feel like there's an offer of, really like a somebody's dragging their feet on an offer but i feel like the offer is slow in coming but it will come if you just have the patience to wait for it okay so let's see what the clarification cards will tell us here we have the five of pentacles reverse as your central issue so that's getting over uh somebody making you feel like you're left out in the cold and we have clarifying that is the eight of cups so you're walking away from a situation and getting over those feelings of being neglected and left out. Okay, we have the King of Swords reverse. So somebody was very cold to you and kind of, you know, maybe cut you out of their life or you're cutting them out of your life or you're just, one of you is trying to embody this very cold sense of being, um, emotionless, you know, kind of even, even ruthless and mean. Um, is the king of swords he's very harsh is what i'm saying what i'm seeing you know um so i i, I kind of feel like this is you guys trying to be something that you're not okay because you guys are cancers you're all about you know emotion and love and and i see it everywhere you have the knight of cups queen of cups you know but you're trying to embody these archetypes that are not you because you think that this is what's going to protect you from being hurt Okay, so you're trying to embody this King of Swords reverse, who is a cold asshole, you know, who doesn't care who he hurts. And so you're trying to walk away from situations in which people made you feel like you're not important enough. Okay, and then you have this uh, Empress here reverse, so that's what you're trying to act like. All right, now why is this Knight of Cups here crossing you? Okay, yeah. You have feelings for this person. And that's why you have, you're you having trouble getting away from the situation or exiting the situation. Because even though emotionally that's what you've tried to do, mentally you're still, you know, you're still hung up on this person. One more card. Yeah, because you love them. You're in love. I don't know with who, but many of you are in love with someone who is not giving you the attention that you desire. And that's why you're becoming, you're embodying this colder sense of being. In the foundation, we have the Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups. All right, yeah, you're giving up on the situation uh, with this person that you're in love with because it's like they're not really reciprocating the way that you want them to. And so you're not satisfied. You want them to communicate, okay? Or you're communicating that you're kind of, you are... communicating that or the other person or your partner has communicated that they they kind of just want to take it easy and not you know take things so seriously but the feelings are still there maybe this is you guys saying that to your partner when in reality you have really deep feelings for them in the past we have the two of swords reverse so somebody made a decision made a decision not to uh, really unify this um, this partnership. Um, it could have been a decision to break up, to break things off, to kind of cool things down. Yeah, and this made somebody really sad here with the sun reverse. 
So it was a decision that was not a happy one. And that, you know, as a result of that, you may not be seeing eye to eye with your partner as a result of this decision that was made. So now what's crowning you is the Empress Reverse. <clears throat> we have the Ten of Pentacles, clarifying that. <coughs> also clarified by the Five of Pentacles Reverse. So yeah, it's like you're not going to be um, investing into or giving anybody any kind of nurturing or love if they're not giving you long-term commitment and uh, not, you know, making you feel like you are being neglected. That is what your stance is right now. It's like, you don't, I won't give you love if you don't give me what I need, which is stability and a promise for something longer term. I feel like you guys are not really wanting to waste your time with, uh, you know, these little relationships that, are here today, gone tomorrow. You want somebody who's really going to invest in you the way you're willing to invest in them, especially having all these emotions for them. <clears throat> so in the near future, we have the strength card. <laughs> Clarified by the strength card. So something that this is like a, a message that this is going to be very prevalent, um, not only because it came out twice, but because it's a major arcana. Um, so yeah, there's definitely going to be a need for you to be stronger, uh, to use your courage to maybe let certain opportunities go, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles reverse, or to accept that certain opportunities are kind of a false start, um, or that you miss out on a certain opportunity. There's going to be need to be like fortitude to get through that. And one more card for strength. Okay, we have the Three of Cups. Um, I feel like this is saying that even though in the near future things, I feel like the opportunity is there. It's just maybe not the right timing for it. And I feel if you guys show fortitude and strength to get through it with your head held up high and still manage to participate in the situation and to still be joyful and live your life the way you should, um, I feel like that's what you need to do here in the near future. What you don't need to do is like, you know, isolate yourself and cry yourself to sleep at night. I feel like you need to keep enjoying life, keep living life, and these opportunities that are meant for you are going to come sooner or later. You just need to be strong and uh, see your way through them. How you see yourself is the fool, so you're ready for something new, okay? You want to get over past hurt and past losses. You just want to move ahead and not look back is what I'm getting. Yeah, you want new opportunities, something that makes you excited, a new relationship. You're ready for it, okay? You do not want to sit around at home and cry and, oh, woe is me. That is not you, okay? This is what you're looking for. You're looking for fun and excitement, and even if it's no strings attached, you're good with that. All right, so how your partner sees you is the Nine of Cups reverse. They see that they are not giving you what you want, what makes you happy. You're not feeling victorious. You're not feeling like you're getting what you want or what you feel you deserve. So they are well aware that they are not providing you with what you uh, are needing or desiring, mostly desiring. Okay, because they've made a decision not to. Why? I don't know. That will be different for each of you. But I feel like that's what that decision here in the past is about. Somebody made a conscious decision not to really follow through with this relationship, with this union. I feel like it's a younger relationship or a newer relationship, I should say. Um, I don't get that this is like um, relating to long-term committed couples. So if that's you guys, sorry, I don't feel like this message is for you. I feel like this is more for somebody who is in a newer relationship and they're not really knowing where they stand 
and I feel that's because the other person doesn't really, they're not really sure where they, where they want this to go either. So it's like a process, and that's why you're needing fortitude here in your near future, because it's a process that you're going to have to see through if you really are interested in this person, which to me it really does look like you are. You're just denying that to yourself, but you are in love with this person. Yep. All right. So you're desiring or you're hoping or fearing the end of a cycle or the beginning of a new cycle. Okay, and we have clarified by that is the Four of Cups. I feel like you're desiring for a new cycle to begin or, or, or for you to ascend in this relationship, ascend to a new level of commitment because you're not satisfied with the way that things are right now. So you want something new to start. Yeah, you're not satisfied and you haven't been getting what you want emotionally. Your desires, your wishes have not been granted yet, and so you want something to change. In your overall outcome, we have that Seven of Swords, so let's see what that's about. What is the Seven of Swords here for for Cancer, male and females, from January 1st through the 15th, 2018? What is the Seven of Swords about? Okay. The chariot reverse this is your card cancer so this is you not moving forward or not feeling victorious because of some sort of deception like something comes to a screeching halt there is no commitment here with the hierophant reverse this is also the card of taurus so we have cancer and we have taurus here okay they're both reverse i feel like you guys are not really on the same page here uh and you're either fooling yourselves or, let's see, one more card for the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Cancer? Male and females. Cancer, male and females for January 1st through the 15th. The Devil. All right. Oh, my goodness. So for some of you, I do feel... With the Devil and the Seven of Swords, I feel that, and especially with the Hierophant reversed, I feel like some of you are putting an end to a third-party situation. You've been having an affair. Maybe you didn't know about it, but you were. Um, you were a part of it, some sort of love triangle here. Um, for others of you, I feel like you're in a karmic cycle with someone, possibly a Taurus. Um, and there's like... Deception involved, but I, I, I just don't feel like it's, I feel like it's more like self-deception, uh, where you guys are just seeing what you want to see and trying to get away with things, trying to get one over on each other, you know, and this is just not the way, that's why you've been in this cycle, you can't get out of this cycle here in the, in the overall outcome, and neither one of you is winning, because if you see, both of these are reverse, okay, um, Another scenario that I'm seeing here is that you guys are feeling upset and you're feeling deceived because this person never really wanted, like you realize that this person never really wanted um, commitment and all they were really interested in was the sexual aspect of the relationship and so you're feeling like you want to just end it now because you do have feelings for this person so it's kind of hard to remain in a relationship where only one person has true deep feelings and the other person is just in it for a good time so that is what i'm feeling i'm feeling like somebody here um, is not wanting to commit and so someone's feeling deceived because of that and but at the same time feeling bound to this person like it's, it's really difficult to get out of this cycle all right so that's what I'm getting for you guys, for your love lives for the beginning of January. I'll be back in the mid-month to see how this all uh, pans out, hopefully. Um, but so far, I feel like the advice here is to, for you to, you guys to be strong, have fortitude to see this, this relationship through. Because I do feel like there are deep feelings here on your part. And I, I just don't get the sense that there is... Um, that that karmic cycle has yet been broken. So maybe there's still some lessons that you need to learn in this relationship. All right, let's move on to your yearly forecast and we will see what 2018 has in store for you. 
Okay, so for this I'm going to be using the Butterfly Oracle cards and I'm going to pull one for each month. So let's see, what does Cancer have to focus on in January? Month of January for Cancer, what should Cancers be focusing on? It does take a little bit of time to get all the cards out, but... Be patient, my dears. <laughs> I know the shuffling is annoying. I hear it all the time. Too much shuffling. But that's just the way it's got to be. All right, so in January, you're dealing with memories. Nostalgia, thinking of how things used to be. People from the past, you're doing a lot of reflecting. we have parental care so your parents might be an issue this month of February you may, they may need special care or more attention from you Cancer have to focus on for March, March 2018. Okay, you'll be focusing a lot on your emotions. Emotions will be an issue then. Coming to terms with certain emotions, dealing with an emotional situation. April. Dietary changes, all right? Changing your diet. Some of you could be becoming vegan, um, looking into eating a cleaner diet, a healthier diet, focusing on your health. For the month of May, you may need to get some rest, okay? Don't overwork yourself. In June, we have sobriety, okay? That doesn't always um, talk about <clears throat> necessarily uh, having addiction issues or needing to be sober or anything like that, but um, it does have to do with like maybe toning down certain um, perhaps habits. January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay, July, we have volunteer. So giving of yourself, giving your time to others to feed your soul. Okay, month of August. What's the focus for the month of August for cancer, male and females? August 2018, what is the focus? adult children so you guys um, if you're old enough and you have adult children they may be a big focus to you in the month of August others uh, you may be dealing with some immature people in your life immature adults this is the month of September In September, you're going to be changing your mind about something. October, what's going on in October for Cancers? Cancers for October, what's going on? Sentimental feelings. You guys are going to be dealing a lot with your emotions. I see that here coming up repeatedly. A lot with yourself. 
um, as far as physically uh, taking care of yourself, but definitely emotional and a lot to do with your parents, um, older people in your life. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Okay, yeah. Two more. November and December. What's going on in November? All right. You will be needing or giving support to others. What is the focus for December? Thank you. Relationship dynamics. Okay, I just want to make sure I have them all. Okay, and for your overall focus for the year, I'm going to pull one of the Archangel Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, and that is clairvoyance. Oh, I'm sorry, claircognizance. Archangel Uriel, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Okay, so definitely relying on your intuition. You guys are water signs, so you do have more intuition than most. And you need to rely on these ideas that come to you as actual messages from the divine that will help you throughout the year. Okay, we're going to clarify here with the legacy of the divine tarot. So let's start off with January with the memories. What is the memories about? Okay, definitely deep emotions. We have the moon card. Okay, so memories about things that you didn't understand, past fears that you had, um, you know, as a child. And again, deep emotions that are being dug up from the past. Um, thinking about maybe uh, you know just how you used to feel as a child or how you used to feel during a certain era in your life uh, I feel like something is jogging your memory something is bringing up deep-seated emotions within you here in January February we have parental care okay and that is clarified by the three of cups reverse so three of cups reverse is a card of just not having joy or Somebody being very kind of sort of gossipy, not happy, not being able to enjoy time with others. Um, I feel like perhaps in February you're not going to be able to spend too much time with your friends or partying as much as you were used to because there will be, your parents are going to need more care from you, more attention. Um, also, this could be... This could be like your parents having some sort of emotional issue that you need to attend to, that you need to pay attention to or deal with in the month of February. So strong focus there uh, on just the lack of happiness with a parent or with a parental relationship. In the month of March, we have emotions. All right, and we have the five of cups. So that is also a card of emotions, but it's sort of um, sadness, a sense of loss, a sense of a sense of wanting more, asking for more. If you look at this card. This person has their hand out. It's like they're they're looking to someone to kind of save them in a situation, save them from feeling this way. Oh, this is actually the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, this is um, like feeling a sense of lack. Um, and someone's not giving the attention that you need. Someone's not giving... I feel it's more attention. I, I don't think that this is um, 
that you're going to have financial problems because it's with the emotions card. I feel like this is more about either you leaving somebody out in the cold or somebody making you feel this way, like they just left you out in the cold and neglected you. So you're dealing with that here in the month of March. April, we have dietary change. And we have the page of wands reverse. So whatever changes you wanted to make for your diet, maybe you wanted to make, uh, you know, become vegan or uh, stop consuming gluten, whatever the case is, whatever change in your diet that you wanted to make, I feel it's going to be a, a sort of a slow start for you. Um, so if you want to focus on that, you just keep that in mind that it may not take off unless you really put an emphasized focus on it because the page of wands is reversed. So there is like a new beginning, something new trying to start, but it's not taking off the way that you would like it to. Okay. January, February, March, April. Okay. May, we have get some rest. All right. We have the sun reversed. So that's like a lack of joy. Uh, you might be feeling a little bit depressed, perhaps, or just not up, not feeling yourself, not feeling like really um, being out there, um, like not not really wanting to interact is what I'm getting. Not wanting to be seen much is what I'm getting. Okay, so you're spending a lot of time indoors. I feel like just getting rest and recuperating from something so that's in May okay in June we have sobriety let me see what this is about sobriety all right six of wands reverse okay so for me sobriety could be any sort of not just physical addiction, you know, to me it could be like certain needs that you have that aren't, aren't healthy for you. So for example, you know, I have so many people in my family that are, and I know, I'm, I'm sure you guys know people like this who just need constant attention, you know, they need to be the center of attention, otherwise they, they just act out and act like fools, you know, if they don't get the attention that they crave. And then changing that that sort of um, aspect of yourself to me would be also fall into the category of sobriety. So to me, sobriety is not just for um, uh, you know physical or, or substance issues, substance abuse issues, or anything like that. I, especially with the six of wands reverse. To me, it's like. I feel like you guys have been trying really hard or are going to be trying really hard to prove yourself to someone or in some situation. It's like you're trying to prove yourself and get certain accolades from someone and needing that validation is what I'm getting. Okay. I feel that in the month of June, you may be forced into a situation where you need to really acknowledge the fact that you only can rely on yourself for your own happiness okay your happiness your success should not ever um, be dictated by what somebody else thinks of you or how somebody else you know how highly they regard you okay that should come from within so you feeling successful or you feeling important enough should come from you and nobody else and I feel like that's what this is about. This sobriety is more sobriety in the sense of um, knowing your own worth and not needing validation from others. I feel like this has been an issue with you, needing to feel validated by the people around you, whether it be your partner, your romantic partner, your family, you know, your parents, your community, whoever it may be. I feel like that would be a major focus for you in the month of June. In July, we have volunteers. So this is you giving your energy. Whoops, I have two cards, sorry. You giving your energy to others uh, very selflessly, just from the kindness of your heart. 
and we have the Nine of Wands. Uh, nine of Wands, sorry. Nine of Swords reverse. Okay, so I feel like volunteering and giving your energy to others and uh, just being selfless and doing things for other people here is going to take your mind off of whatever stress you may be going through in the month of July. Okay, whatever is stressing you out, I feel like the approach to take is to give to others and focus your energy on that as opposed to staying home and having these reoccurring thoughts or obsessive thoughts about what it is that's wrong with life. You know, just focus your energy elsewhere, and I think that that's going to be a, a more effective use of time for you. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Okay, August. Adult children. Whoa. All right, we have the Knight of Cups. And he is upright. So that is offering your love. I feel like you guys may be feeling that you're offering your love to someone who may not be as mature as you are. Yeah. I feel like they're not on the same level as you with regards to not just age, but just overall maturity, emotional maturity especially. Okay, so that may be a challenge for you. Um, for others of you, if you guys are old enough to have adult children, I feel like they, they may be needing your comforting in the month of August. There's like love that they're expecting from you because they're feeling vulnerable at this point, even though they're adults. There's something going on in your adult child's life that is difficult for them to get through, and they really need your emotional support through this. Okay, so those are the two scenarios I see there. Okay, so for the month of September, we have changing your mind. You're changing your mind about something, and we got two cards. I'm going to take them. All right, we have the Queen of Cups reversed, and we have the Lovers. So, I feel like you lose feelings for someone. It's like you make a decision to move on from a, a relationship, a love relationship, because um, you just realize that there is not enough love there for you to really keep fighting for it. You change your mind, you make a decision changing your mind completely with regards to your emotions about something. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. For some of you, it is a romantic relationship that you change your mind about. Like you realize you don't have the same amount of love that you thought you did. Um, for others of you, it's just changing your mind because you're just uh, lacking in emotion with per this particular subject, whatever it may be. But there's definitely a decision made um, as a result of you changing your mind in the month of September. Okay, so in the month of October, we have sentimental feelings and we have the Empress. So... I feel like in the month of October, for some reason I'm getting you're dealing a lot with your children. Your children are very important to you. Mm. I feel like you're all about the home, what's really, really important. You know, your family, the health of your family, nurturing them, caring for them, giving them the love that they deserve and that they require. Uh, I feel like that's majorly your focus there in October, whatever is really sentimental f to you is where all your energy is going to go. It's like, it's like, you know, this motherly energy, the Empress is all about nurturing and caring and loving uh, and seeing, you know, things grow and it's all about sentiment. So I, I, I just truly feel like for a lot of you, this is about the love for your children, really focusing on loving your children or focusing on your household overall. Okay, so November we have support 
either you need support or you will be offering support. I got two cards, both of which tell me that there is some sort of lack of communication here. The Eight of Wands reverse and the Ace of Swords reverse. So be aware in the month of um, November, there's going to be a real need for you to focus on communicating effectively with people because either you need support from someone and you need to let people know okay so stop you know hiding in, in your shell there cancers little crabs <laughs> hiding in your little shell and not letting people know what's going on with you i feel like november might be a difficult time for you where you need to reach out to others and let them know that that you want their support that you need their advice you or you just need for to feel like they um are there for you or vice versa maybe there's somebody in your life here in the month of november that's going to need your support but you there's a, a need for communication there's like a lack of communication here and a need to be aware of that so please you know i've been telling all the signs keep these videos and kind of refer to it as the year goes on or make notations in your calendar uh, just to keep a focus on what um what you need, need to really uh, look into and for November it's definitely communication of what you need for yourself <clears throat> for yourself or you know you communicating your support to others and letting them know that you're there for them so in December you're focusing on relationship dynamics okay wow and we have the ten of pentacles so whatever relationship it is that you're going to be focused on <clears throat> in the month of December is going to be for the long term is what i'm seeing okay so whoever it is that you're with or dealing with in the month of december and working on this relationship whatever it is that your time and energy that you're um, putting into this is going to pay off for the long term this is not going to be uh, this could be with family relationship dynamics within your family or just with someone that's going to really be a, around you for a long time okay so that is for the month of december and like i said overall your focus was <clears throat> clear cognizance so you definitely need to pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you because they are answered prayers don't just dismiss them as just silly thoughts they came to your mind for a reason so go with your gut instincts this year and this will allow you to follow your dreams all right cancers thank you so much for listening um don't forget to like and subscribe please leave me your comments and let me know what you thought about this 2018 forecast for you and uh, i really appreciate you guys thank you and have, have a happy new year and i'll see you soon bye guys